Hey guys, Banana Luck here and welcome back to another Watch Out Realms video. So today we are back with another video for the Curling Duck. This time around specifically looking at the shop and what you should actually be buying. So first of all, let's round up the tokens that we'll get in total. So I just completed the story mode, challenge mode, and I have one more chance to challenge. And H4 gives me 180. So this means I'll net a total of 1030 for the first day. And this event has, I think, five days more. We can challenge it five more times. Sorry, four more days, including today, if I'm not wrong. So that means that, oh, we still haven't completed five and six. So that will give us more stuff. So in total, it seems like we'll be getting at about thousand. Four more days, that'll be 3.6k, 4.6k worth of tokens from just challenge. And bearing in mind that uh, we still have all these rewards, that's going to be adding up if, let's say you don't do any summons, that's going to be adding up to another 350 plus 450, 800. So you get about 5,000 tokens in total. And you do get to buy 5 more challenges with gold, which you should. So that will give us a total of 5.8k, 5.9 flows. And not including these two, two more story modes that haven't cleared as well. So 6,000 tokens, let's just use that as the ballpark figure on what you should buy. So definitely buy the summoning crystals, that's a given. As well as I think Celine's Shadow Strike. I think this is probably... I'm, I'm not too sure what she does. I know she's a fighter and she's in a venomous uh, faction. The one that has the very tough to pronounce name. So that leaves us with about 2.5k remaining. I'll say next I'll prioritize on the mythic extracts, although I don't need them anymore. So I'm not too sure what to buy instead. Epic skill crystals, those are fine. And then 5 star psychic, that's fine as well. But I definitely wouldn't recommend buying Voroff or the Legendary Extract because you can just pull this and this comes by very easily once you get to the later stages of the game. I am a bit on the fence about Voroff's artifact because to be fair, the only way to get this artifact is through Void Rift Nightmare and Void Rift Heart actually. So if you have enough tokens from doing your summons, maybe this is worth your while but I think in general, I'm, I will probably not go for this but yeah, that's just me. So if you ask me like shop wise, what should I prioritize? Rare crystals for sure. Celine's artifact, since there's nothing really else here. Not the heroes, not the mythic extracts if you're far along enough because look at me, I have 48 mythic extracts. I just don't have enough heroes to promote it on. So that's my priority and pretty Pretty meh event if you ask me because we are lacking a few other nicer stuff like legendary skill crystals. We're also lacking stamina. I think those were present in the last few uh, events that we had. And legendary extracts, that's just, I mean, I don't see anyone buying it unless you're in the very early stage of the game. And 5 star psychic power, don't get me wrong, those are good, but I would pretty much rather get stamina to progress in other areas of the game. But that's just me. So that's what I recommend. Once again, Rare Crystal, Celine's Artifact, Mythic Extract if you need them, 5 Star Psychic Power, and then you can get the rest later. Steel Crystals as well, but keep the Legendary Extract, keep the Boroth uh, as a hero, and you know, get his Artifact if you want to, if you have extra, but I don't think that's a part. But that's it for the video guys, if you found it helpful. Please feel free to leave a like in the comment section or even subscribe. And you know, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.